on the phone. Decoding our body's secret messages. That's what's at the heart of best-selling author Dr Libby's 12th book, The Beauty Guide, that's been launched today. She's here to share her top tips to help prevent accelerated ageing. Good morning, Dr Libby. Good morning, Hayley. So 12 books, that is amazing. What motivates you to keep writing these? <laughs> well, there's a lot more, to, I've got a lot more to say, I think, but it's uh, when I hear what people talk to me about where they're suffering, I want to help them make a difference to that, so hence, hence all of the books. And this new one with The Beauty Guide, it's not just about having better hair, skin and nails. There's a much deeper conversation about our self-perceptions, the culture of comparison that we're all experiencing these days too. So it is the beauty guide, but as you say, it, it, it goes deeper than yeah. the skin. Explain that for us. So I think uh, a lot of us, not everybody cares about their health, which is sort of unfathomable to me, to be honest, But <laughs> although I do get it, but most people care about how they look. So our, the way that we age is often a reflection of the choices that we're making. And a good way to picture it is the body is made up of uh, 50 trillion tiny little circles and every circle, every cell in the body wants to eat and then it's got to be able to eliminate waste. And the quality of the nutrients that the cells get plays a massive role in whether we we, we see the ageing rapidly or not. Everyone ages, of course, mm. but it's whether it's debilitating or rapid that, that we need to minimise. So what can cause debilitating ageing, as you say? So a huge challenge for so many people today is just literally not getting enough nutrients. So whether there's not enough nutrients in the soils, whether people are relying too much on processed and takeaway food, but it's also the job of the gut and the liver to detoxify potentially problematic substances that we might be exposed to. Sadly, there's more pollutants in the world these days. Some of them we can do things about and others we can't. Like there's, we can't change how many cars are on the road, for example. So supporting the digestive system and the liver to eliminate what we're exposed to is really important. Isn't some ageing just down to genes, though? Uh, some of it, well, the genes definitely contribute without doubt, but the choices we make have a big impact. So do our hormones, and they're things that we uh, can actually influence. When I actually asked uh, the people on my email database what they cared about learning about most, and it was hormones. So I'm touring New Zealand at the moment talking about hormones because they, when they are out of balance, it changes our skin, it changes our energy, it changes whether we can think clearly, and of course, uh, for women, it changes what's happening with their reproduction and, and whether menopause is debilitating or not. Do you think that as you, um, as you evolve in your career, the, the books are evolving with you now. We're talking about accelerated ageing and, and women's hormones. Yeah. Is that what? Absolutely. And I think, I think too, the, the people, uh, I feel like people age with me, obviously, and share with me their, their concerns and what they want to know about. And uh, when we're not supposed to suffer with our reproductive system. Menopause is not supposed to be debilitating. And I want to give people the choices and, and the options to make that a, a pleasurable process, not something that's a big challenge. What's one of the main things you'd like people to take away from this book? So we always feel like there's something we've got to change and I think a big part of uh a big part of juice and joy in life is appreciating what's happening right now. Lots of people spend lots of time pursuing things, whereas if we let ourselves have what we already have, it fosters an incredible joy and that, that beauty is really a light in someone's eyes and you can see when it's there. So let yourself have what you already have because it's what joy is all about and that gives us brilliant energy for, I think we need great energy for a great quality life. So that's about gratitude. But when you're on social media these days, it's really quite difficult to accept what you've got um, as being okay. Do you talk about this in the book, don't you? Very much so. So uh, this culture of comparison is really concerning. Probably not that long ago we cared about what five or ten people thought of us. Perhaps our parents, a teacher we thought was excellent, our best friend, our tennis coach. But now people care about what thousands of people think of them and some of them are strangers. And that can have an, a lot of stress these days for people comes from worrying what other people think of them. So we tend, as we scroll through, I think it's really important to remember that some of those things potentially aren't, aren't attainable in nature and to appreciate the, the incredible strengths that, that we all have. Do you uh, advocate for a different kind of beauty than what you might see on social media? Because if you're saying, you know, we, we, we need to be um, grateful for what we've got and, and have happy hormones, etc., but then you're still talking about being beautiful. 
So the book redefines beauty, I hope. So I want people to get clear on what it is for them. Is For some people, beauty, I think, is probably freedom. Uh, for others, it is that light, that energy. When we have great energy, uh, I, I think it, it doesn't just illuminate the person, it illuminates everyone they come into contact with. So I'm trying to start a new conversation around beauty to move it away from that physical out external appearance. Well, if you're anyone to go by, it definitely works. I feel illuminated <laughs> in your presence. In your presence. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Libby Weaver. You're a beautiful soul. Thank you, Hayley. <laughs> Remember, if you want to get in touch, we would love to hear from you. Our Facebook page is Breakfast on One. You can flick us an email if you prefer, breakfast at tvnz.co.nz. Still ahead on Breakfast, would you let your boss...